All right, guys, it's finally dry, it's finally ready, and we're about to clear coat it with some Gamblin Ganbar gloss. Now, you want a nice, easy coat. Looks just like that. We got a little bit left, should be enough for this painting. And uh, you wanna pour it slowly and evenly across your painting. Just like this. All the dark should get darker, the light should get lighter, and it'll give you this wicked depth. Look at that. Look at the tree branch go brown all of a sudden compared to the dry spot. Oh, it's beautiful. I've been waiting to do this to this painting. But there were areas that weren't as dry as other areas were. So I had to wait. You don't want to do this with wet paint, otherwise it'll smear your paint and it'll start running all over. So you can do the, with this one we completed the sides. What I'm gonna do is just a light little coat. I use a fan brush, just a size eight fan brush, an old one that I don't paint with anymore. Now it gets all nice and crusty with this uh, gloss, but it helps versus a sponge. My paint is very textured, very thick. And what that does is just, uh, this helps it kind of glide over those thicker areas. You want a nice even coat. Don't want it to pool up anywhere. And you don't want to hang it to dry because it will start to, even though it looks, you know, nice and spread out, it'll start to drip down and uh, cause these weird drips in your painting that you didn't plan on. So don't hang to dry, leave it flat. You don't want it to pool up in areas that you don't want it to. This stuff is amazing. It makes all the colors just pop. The dark colors pop, the light colors pop. And it gives you this layer, almost like a layer of glass to look through. And that uh, just gives it a little bit more depth. Oh, this stuff's amazing. Amazing, all the wood goes darker. It'll protect it from fading over time. I've done ones where the, the big blue one I did on a 36 by 48, and it, it does not look as blue as it used to. And that's because I never coated it with a clear coat kind of protectant like this. So like I said, back and forth across your entire painting, you want them to have a even surface of gloss, right? Nice even coat. And then like I said, do not hang it to dry. Leave it flat. It'll only take about 10, 15 minutes and this will be dry. And then, uh, you can put another coat on and wait another 10, 15 minutes, put another coat on if you want. I mean, most I've done is three coats on a painting and it turned out beautifully. Again, we're just kind of going over the sides. Just so you'll catch a nice sheen any which way you look at it. And again, the reason why we go over it so many times is because it'll pool up in different areas. And you don't want it to pool. God, that looks so good. Definitely posting a picture of this as soon as I'm done. That is gorgeous. All right, guys. Well, in less than a few minutes, we've clear coated this entire painting. All the darks got darker, the lights got lighter, and just brought it to life. Instead of this dull, flat, matte look to it, now we got some Nice glossy finish. Almost turns it into like a photo. It's a Kodak moment right here. Kodak moment. All right. All right, guys, well, check out Instagram because you're about to see a, a picture of this painting up close and personal. And until then, we'll see you guys later. Take care.